So as part of Christmas in Kensington, which we have been doing for seven years, um, this year our businesses wanted to, uh, to give back uh, even more than we usually do during this time. And so we chose the Veterans Food Bank uh, to do collections for us. We had about 30 businesses with boxes in their stores or businesses from um, November 12th until yesterday. And uh, we've collected stuff on behalf of uh, 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 all those businesses. We've also kept the um, boxes out on the plaza area in front of Page's Bookstore and the Plaza Theatre. I think it's difficult to think of anyone going hungry at, at any time of the year, but especially at Christmas, I think that in, in the cold, that kind of touches people's hearts a little bit more. And the thought of our veterans going hungry, I think is especially painful to many people. And, uh, and at this time of year, we decided that this was a cause that we wanted to really um, uh, support because we know that the, there are a lot more people accessing food banks than in the past. And our, our economic downturn and COVID have made people feel particularly isolated. Um, last year, as part of Chinook Blast, we did big fire pits on Friday nights, Saturdays and Sundays. Um, just to give people a place to come and be outdoors and socially distance and enjoy a fire and a conversation perhaps with a stranger or with a friend that comes with you. We're doing that again in February as well as some other activities associated with Chinook Blast. Uh, we are planning um, another um, August event that, uh, that another group is doing here in Kensington. It's called A Taste of That Thing in the Desert. It's part of the Burner community. We did our first uh, activation with them last year. We are also looking at a, a community art walk project. Uh, we're also working with uh, the Boda Bluff project on the east side of the LRT line. So we've got quite a few plans already in place. Uh, and of course, uh, in February for Kensington Love, we'll have our pride banners back and, and they're, they're beautiful. They're my favorite banners in 18 years. They're my favorite banners. They're so bright and pretty.